Vim is a free and open source text editor that comes pre-installed with almost every Linux distribution. It's blazing fast and efficient, but it might seem a bit daunting for beginners as it has a bit of a learning curve. However, once you get the hang of it, Vim might actually boost your productivity, especially if you're someone like me who lives on the keyboard. Alright, so let's get started with the tutorial. To start Vim, all you have to do is open the terminal and type in Vim. If you're on Windows, you can easily install Vim by downloading it online or use winget install vim.vim in the Windows terminal. When you first start Vim, you might notice that you can't actually type anything on the screen. Don't panic, that's normal. This is because Vim is a modal editor. That means that it runs on different modes. Before we look into changing modes and navigation, let's see how we can create or save a file and exit Vim. So on our Vim window, we will want to press the escape key to enter normal mode and type in colon W followed by the file name and hit enter to save a file. If you're not sure where you are or you're stuck somewhere, try hitting the escape key twice. It should bring you back to normal mode. We can then exit Vim by typing in colon Q and hitting enter. It's that simple. We can also combine the two keys into one command and type in colon WQ after escaping into normal mode. Additionally, we can force save or quit by adding an exclamation mark after our characters. For example, colon Q followed by the exclamation mark forces Vim to quit out of the file without saving changes. Let's look at an example. I will insert some text without saving it and I will force quit using colon Q followed by the exclamation mark. And once you open up the file, you can see that the text that I inserted was not there. By default, Vim launches in normal mode, which usually allow users to navigate through the document and do some copy and pasting as well as deleting text. To insert text, we will have to enter insert mode, which can be done by simply pressing an I. As you can see down here, it shows us that we are in insert mode. Now we can type any text we want freely. A lowercase i allows us to start typing in text at the current cursor position. Once we're done typing, we can escape back to normal mode and use colon w to save the file. There are also other ways to enter insert mode. For example, using a capital I will bring us to insert mode at the beginning of the line. A lowercase o will create and jump to a new line under the current line, while an uppercase o will create and jump to a new line on top of the current line. A lowercase a will enter insert mode after the current cursor position. So if I hit a here, I would be able to enter text after p. Meanwhile, an uppercase a will jump to the end of the line and enter insert mode. So take for example, where I am currently, my cursor is at the beginning of the line, and if I use an uppercase A, I will jump to the end of the line and enter insert mode. Now that you've mastered how to enter and jump out of insert mode, let's take a look at the navigation keys in Vim. Since Vim wasn't created by a gamer, we can't use WASD keys to move around, which sucks. Instead, we use H, J, K, and L. So H moves us to the left, J moves us down, K moves us up, and L moves us to the right. The arrow keys also work like how they would, but it's not the proper way to navigate around in Vim. Additionally, we can use W to jump to the beginning of the next word. Bear in mind that this jumps to a punctuation if Vim detects one in between words. We can use an uppercase W to iterate through this and jump to the next word directly. So a capital W will ignore punctuation in between. The same applies for lowercase and uppercase B which is used to jump backwards to the beginning of the word. There is also a lowercase and uppercase E that brings us to the end of the word. Now that we can move around, let's look at how we can copy, paste, and delete stuff. To copy a line, we use double Y and P to paste. An uppercase P will paste the line before the cursor. 
To delete a line, we just have to press D twice. We can also delete multiple lines by using D followed by the number of lines and another D after that. So for example, I want to delete three lines. I will type in D3D. Now let's look at how to undo and redo changes. Instead of using Ctrl Z to undo changes, we use U. We can also undo a few changes at once by specifying the number before U. Redoing changes is done simply by pressing Ctrl R while in normal mode. Now let's take a look at how to search for text. We can search for a word or pattern using the forward slash while in normal mode. If there are multiple matches, we can move to the next match by using a lowercase n and an uppercase n to move backwards. Finally, let's look at how to replace text in Vim. First, escape into normal mode. Type in colon percent s followed by a forward slash followed by the text that we will want to replace another forward slash the replacement text another forward slash and finally a g the g here is short for greedy and will change all the matches in the file if we don't have it it will only change the first occurrence or the first match here's a bonus tip you can also open a terminal in vim by typing in colon terminal while in normal mode congratulations you have now mastered vim and can declare yourself a demigod level developer. There's a lot more than these commands and you can also install plugins, but for now, you can call it a day and go flex on other developers. If you enjoyed this video, go hit the like and subscribe button right now. As always, keep calm and stay curious. See you in the next video. Bye.